So we're here in South Carolina to study essentially an ancient climate by collecting fossil shells from uh, time intervals in the past when sea level was higher. These times in the past were a bit warmer than today, and so we're interested in comparing the climate of these times with today and modern climate change. Being in the field and going out collecting different fossils, finding stuff, getting your hands dirty at all these different locations, especially when we're not in Michigan, is a huge major part of where you have to take notes, you take sketches, take tons of pictures, pull samples, make sure you're labeling. It's just a great experience overall. Blue area. It's also a chance for them to just get exposed to geologic field work, practice in how to look at preserved geologic sections, how to measure those, how to analyze them, how to think about what environment they represent. And then above that kind of special interval, what's up there, do you think? It's really great working with Ian um, because it's a lot of fun. It's very informative, but it's also like he gives me the chance to kind of branch out as well um, and kind of take control of like the projects that I'm working on. So this is my first field experience. I'm very grateful to be involved, so it's nice to get my hands dirty. Definitely my favorite part is seeing students kind of have that light bulb go on. Mm -hmm. Instead of just seeing sand and mud and maybe some shells, actually putting together what that means about the environment that used to be here. The layers below our feet are kind of this library that tell us about the, the history of our planet, which is, it's, it's a language you kind of have to learn. Once you've learned that language, you can kind of read these sediments and layers kind of like a little bit like a book and sort of understand what happened in the past. <laughs>